Hello, this is Jung Hyun Lee and Dami Yoon, and we present for the detection of COVID virus. Uh, this is the content for our presentation. First is introduction, second and research design, and third and conclusion, four and reference. For introduction, the coronavirus has rapidly increased in pan pandemic scale since it first appeared in Wuhan in December 2019. Uh, through the graph, we can see the death rate that is about the uh, 1.2%. One, 1. In particular, after the Omicron variant, the coronavirus is highly contagious and it is uh, one of the factors that have rapidly increased the number of confirmed cases. Also, this, is, this virus can spread the, uh, to others even during the incubation period at a time when there is no treatment, it is of utmost importance to quickly diagnose the COVID-19. This is the table. Uh, this table shows the method of diagnosis for COVID-19. Currently, the diagnosis of coronavirus commonly used to divide into RT-PCR and antigen antibody test. RT-PCR test has a high occurrence, but this method must be carried with specialized equipment to analyze the results. As a result, this diagnosis requires high cost, and the time needed to complete the test about three to four hours at least. On the contrary, the rapid antigen test, which is called the self-diagnosis kit, is an efficient diagnostic device that can confirm the presence of corona infection in 15 to 20 minutes by a simple method. Uh, and the cost for test is very low comparing with the artificial, but this method has a higher chance missing on active infection. Also, negative result may need to confirmed via a molecular test. Despite of these cons points, the antigen antibody test is used very actively because of a rapid increase in the number of patients. Uh, the method of self-diagnosis kit is putting a cotton swab in patient's nose. However, this method is not effective for children and old people who have reduced mobility. First, in the case of children, they feel the fear of putting a cotton swab in their nose. Second, in the case of elderly people, they are ex experiencing inconvenience in using the kits. COVID-19 can act as a very deadly virus for children and old people who have a weak immune system comparing with adults. Therefore, we have to overcome this uh, obstacle in the diagnosis process so that it can be identified quickly and action can be taken accordingly to the situation. So in this study, we propose to make a device that can effectively efficiently diagnose different from the self-diagnosis kit. We develop an oral adhesive patch that can easily detect COVID-19 by attaching a patch to the mucous membrane of the oral cavity. After a certain period of time, it elapsed. The color change of the patch can be used to confirm the presence of corona infection. Radiation cross-linking can be sterilized and cross-linking at the same time, and there is no need to use a harmful chemical cross-linking agent. For this reason, oral mucosa for use in the oral mucosa material harmful to the living body must not be used. Therefore, the polymer cross linking will proceed through irradiation. Polyacrylic acid is biocompatible.
biocompatible polymer and it is used for the part to adhere to the oral cavity. Polytetrafluoroethylene is inert polymer and it does not degradable uh, so it can use for sheet to attach the antibody. This is a schematic diagram of the experimental process. First, prepare a PAA solution and put PAA solution in the bowl and PTFE sheet to put on the PAA solution. After all, EV-meladiation to cross-linking polymer and antibody binding the PTFE sheet to make coronavirus detection. The di diagnosis rate and addition in the oral cavity are most important. If the adhesive force of the patch is low, then we will use a micro needle type patch. For babies, swallowing the, swallowing, uh, swallowing the patch may occur. Therefore, there is a plan to limit the age of use of the patch or to manufacture it using only biodegradable polymer. As a result, since it is necessary to have a direction that can rely for fear and a direction that can easily use the kit, we, prepo we propose this second phase solution. It is expected to provide a more complementary method for corona treatment and prevention, regardless of age, because it can quickly test the elderly who have difficulty in mobility and children who are afraid of being poked in the nose. Also, in the past, oral mucosal patches were mainly used for drug delivery. Therefore, the application of the oral mucosal patch will increase due to the patch design in this study, and it will open a new paradigm for virus diagnosis method. And this is reference and end of the presentation. Thank you for listening.